Good uh, morning guys, welcome to today's video. Today is all about Chino. Chino, <laughs> where are you? Help. Today is all about Chino. You this big handsome man. Yeah. You found your coat. You blamed me for losing your coat this whole time. <laughs> oh, today's so we can measure the mini. Okay, so lots of stuff to talk to you guys about, explain to you guys. First of all, today is the very first day ever that we left the house. We left the house. Normally what happens is that Sam Sam is at the house. I leave Ellie out of her crate and, and he watches her. He watches her. <laughs> but today when I opened the door, it was the very first time she ran. And she ran right out the door. It's the first time she ever just ran out the door. And she, and she doesn't down. run like away from us. She wants to be with us. So she ran out and she ran to Gabby and was and I kept calling her back and and she just sat there with Gabby, and then when Gabby would take a step towards the barn, she took a step towards the barn. She's like, I'm coming with you guys today. Very clearly, she was telling us, I'm coming with you guys today. So, she is so attached to me now. Like, so in love with me. Hi! So, she's at the barn today for Chino's barrier visit. So, that brings me to number two. <laughs> number two is that today is Chino's corrective uh, trims from the farrier. I have so many questions about that, you guys. So many things that right, I don't understand about farriers because we've had a few, and we've like, and she, the one we have is amazing. But anyways, that's for a whole nother video. But but anyways, today he's gonna get his corrective trim done, and then he's gonna have them done again in a couple of weeks, in a few weeks, like three weeks maybe, when or four weeks when are the rest of our horses get done again. So our vet thinks after two trims, good trims, he should be starting to feel a bit better and Gabby can start to ride him again. Okay, Chino's feet are done. But I have to tell you guys the greatest story ever in the history of the world. Okay, so first of all, I was gonna tell you guys that Ellie, we took her to the barn last night and she doesn't understand that horses are scary. She thinks they're big dogs and she wants to play with them. So she was like calling on all the horses last night. And I'm like, oh my gosh, Ellie, what are you doing? We have to train this dog not to be like under the horse's feet. Don't get me wrong, she didn't go under the horse's feet. We held her, we didn't let her near the horses, but she was trying to jump out of my arms and trying to like get to the horses. So fast forward to today, I'm talking to my farrier. My farrier's just standing here and we're talking about Chino's feet and our game plan for him. And Chino's so interested in the puppy and she's so interested in him. And she's wanting to get to him and I'm like, how am I gonna teach you to be afraid of horses? Or at least have a healthy fear. And, whoops. <laughs> so anyways, we're standing here talking and I'm not even paying attention and Chino is smelling her head and smelling her ears and her, she had a little bit of yeast in her ears when we got her, uh, all healed up now, no smell. But she still has like this silky fur that has this hair and it gets like a human sweaty head kind of smell, just mild. So Chino's smelling her and smelling her and he's disgusted by the smell of her. So he sneezes this huge sneeze and then he coughs this huge cough. And it scares the heck out of Ellie so bad that she screams, jumps up, tries to get out of my arms to get away from him. And it worked. It actually worked. She's afraid of him. <laughs> so that's good. Penny. You're disgusting. It's raining but mild, so Sam left their blankets off today. I'm gonna put them back on, but first we're gonna do like a brush. Gabby, come shed your horse. So earlier I said I didn't understand some things about horse feet. And my farrier actually brought them up and was explaining to me. So first of all, she brought his toes back, but she can't bring them back all the way because it takes a little bit of time. Like you have to go slowly when you bring a, toes, a horse's toes back. So she's gonna do it again in a couple of weeks and bring them back all the way where they're gonna be get his feet underneath him. You have to groom him. What? Take the horse hair off of him and put a blanket on him, please. Why a blanket on him? Because it's cold. It's freezing and it's, it's inside. But it's raining still. It's, it's still inside. cold. It's, it's damp. Here than there. Put a rain sheet on him. Brush him and put a rain Grab sheet on him. Sheet, Brush him first. So what she was saying is that when she got the x-ray from our vet, she was shocked at how long his toes actually were. But she said she had no idea that his feet were as long as they looked in the 
an x-ray and so i asked her like why don't horses have like why don't farriers have x-rays and she said she would die to have an x-ray machine and carry it around with her because it would help her job so much but we're not they're not allowed in canada so she doesn't have one but she loves when people do have them because it helps her so much more it guides her so much more so we are going to get a uh, x-ray oh, of hi. all of our horses and that's going to be like our new standard for our hooves because if a farrier can't see everything yeah. they need to see from looking at a horse it's then she said that works for a lot of horses because they're just normal okay. but a horse that has like issues like has a different shape of a foot or a different conformation issue then it might not necessarily be the right thing for them which is like chino so we have to brush all of our horses and put our blankets on sophie my knees are cold yeah i told you don't buy the jeans Oh, look, I'm getting to the dust now. Yeah, break it into the dust now. So. Oh, he's cuddling with you. Until he bites my face off. <laughs> he's bit my face before. He hasn't done it in a long time. He likes because he's getting brushed. All right, so this is a little bit more of a healthy respect for horses. Now she's just sitting back quietly, staring at the horse. She's like, my mom's behind me. <laughs> Definitely shedding. Yeah. Sophie and I love. Has so much hair. I know. Sophie and I love brushing. Sophie and I love brushing shedding ponies. Uh, well, he can have that in the stall. You can't find. You really can't find his brush, his blanket. Will it work, Will it work or no? Yeah, it'll work for inside. And then tomorrow morning, he has to get a warmer one. So Penny, we brush her every single time we come down. We brush our horses every single time we come down to the arena during shedding season because they have so much hair to lose and get taken off by spring. So that is why our horses are so good at standing in the arena. Oh, be nice. That was not nice, was it? Okay, if you guys have any ideas for Training a puppy to be in a barn situation, let me know because I have a crazy puppy that thinks that she's invincible and I don't want her to get hurt. Nobody's gonna like you in this barn. You have to be quiet. One of the things that I'm thinking is honey gets is dirty. Too much. 
One of the things I'm thinking is to train Ellie to stay on this couch unless I ask her to come off. <laughs> Daisy only stays on the couch. Yeah, Daisy only stays on the couch because she's scared, been scared. Ellie, <laughs> you are hard. Her face is still dirty, but look, do you guys see the hair starting to come off of her face? Her beard is going, so. Honey? Yeah, you are so cute. No, once in the summer, I'm chopping her beard off. No, once we're in the summer, it'll disappear on its own. <laughs> Ellie, no. Honey's never been scared of anything in her life. <laughs> Except for a zipper, because it was her first time hearing one. Honey is the bottom of the whole pecking order. She's the bottom of the horses. She's the bottom of the dogs. She wants to go. She wants to bully someone. She believes in violence. No, oh, her hair is disappearing. No, her mane and her forelock. Look at it. Yeah, you're having a bad hair day, honey. <laughs> Ellie. <laughs> She's like, what the Honey's heck trying to get away from the pressure. She's like, oh my goodness. Look at how cute honey's <laughs> eyes are. Ellie. She dropped barking. No. Here. No. See, that is why I need to train her. She yeah, honestly hey. thinks that she's the boss of the horses. And she's the kind of dog to like terrorize them till they kick her. Oh, she makes me so happy. Like look at how sweet this pony is. She is so cute. So sweet. She's a yearling. She's growing up too fast. Willow is a large mini. She's at the top end of the mini scale. She's 33 inches. Willow's so jealous. What are you? All right, so you guys know that we bought a horse measuring stick because we've been wanting one for so long. We went to a sale that was like 50% off or something, 45% off, and they only had one stick left, so we bought it. And then when we bought it and brought it home, in the package it said it's for a mini size, miniature horse size. And we're like, oh well, we need that anyways. That's why you check before you buy. All right, so do you see that level there? Mm -hmm. Do you know what the level means? It has to be level or else it's wrong. Right. All right, so it has to touch. This has to go close to her body. Now look at how much up, up down you had to go. Okay. Uh, can you, all right, let's see. That was even. All right. I so, saw eight. So she's eight hands high? There's no way. Eight inches high. It says she's 32 inches, but she's so much smaller than Willow, and Willow's 33 inches. No, Willow was like at the top of that. I'm an idiot. You go by the bottom. 30 and a half. So she's 30 inches. 30.5 inches. 30.5 inches. She's 30 inches already. Wait, wait. So she might, her parents are about 32 inches, so she's probably going to be. Work on shorties. 32 inches. All right, let's try Willow. How did we screw that up? Because you screwed up. <laughs> Sophie got me in the wrong. No. Because you're the poor puppy. You already know I'm a dumb blonde. So, don't listen to <laughs> Well, then I guess I'm a dumb blonde, too. For everything. Yeah. So, if you measure something and it hits right there, <laughs> yeah, it's going to be this tall. <laughs> oh, my gosh. It's Did I tell be, you guys I don't drink coffee anymore? It's going to be this tall. Did I tell you I don't drink coffee anymore? Did I tell you the last time I drank coffee, I stayed up all night? Yeah, we remember. All right, go get Willow. It's not a golf club, Gabby. All right, off. measure Willow. So, well, Willow. I will measure correctly. Her owner says that she is 33 inches. No, the bottom. Bottom of the wither. We're almost like where the last of the right? hair. Yeah. Oh my god. Kind of like where the bottom of the hair is. The last pieces of hair are. I need to bring Ellie down when it's just her and I and the horses. Ah, uh, you need your phone. Yeah, my phone, please. So that I can make sure that she has like a good experience. I can already see where she like. I'll just, oh, I thought I was just in time. I can already see what, that she has like a little bit more fear of the horses now. It was all Chino's fault. Just told her Chino her. sneezed honey, on her. Honey follows me everywhere. Yeah, he gets scared of small dogs. Don't you know that you're